What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove people, objects, things in your photos with your Samsung Galaxy phone. You're going to do this in your gallery app, but ultimately the reason I'm going to show this is because there's Magic Eraser now. It's a pretty popular uh, feature on the new Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, and it works really, really well. And this feature has been on Samsung phones for a while. Uh, it's Samsung's own version of it. So I'm going to show you how to get is to use it in case you're not sure uh, exactly how to. So again, first thing you want to do is open up your gallery app on your phone. So find your gallery app and open that up. Once you have it open, you wanna find a photo that you want to edit. So I'm gonna click on this photo right here of me and my son at the little pumpkin patch. So once you have your photo loaded up, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna tap it and hit the edit button, which is this little pencil. And then next, you might be able to scroll underneath here and find the remove object button. But if you don't, what you're gonna do is hit the three dots in the top right and then go to object eraser. And then from here, you can zoom in if it's going to be easier for you to remove an object. Otherwise, you can keep it at full screen. So I'm going to remove a couple things in here. So what I'm going to remove is these pumpkins back here. Not that they, they look bad or anything. They actually add to the photo. But maybe I just wanted everything to be uniform, like the, the uh, orange, mostly orange pumpkins. So I'll get rid of the um, these 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 uh, plants back here. So what I'm going to do is just tap on them. And you can tap on them or you can draw like a circle around them. So I'll tap on them first. And then I'll hit erase down here and it removes it and then I'll do the same thing right here and I'll hit erase and you can see if from this angle you know it doesn't actually look bad it actually looks pretty good and you would basically just hit done if you were done when we zoom in it still doesn't actually look too bad I mean it seems looks a little bit weird here but I mean unless you really zoom in and that one looks a little bit weird the shadows look kind of weird but ultimately, it's not that bad, actually, with, with what you have done. And maybe you want to remove this pumpkin, too, this one right here. Just You don't want anything by my feet. This is where you can kind of see some weirdness. I'm going to tap it. It's kind of selecting it in two parts. I'm going to hit Erase. And now, at this point, I have, like, it almost looks like a dent in the floor. So, that kind of looks weird. Um, you know, I wouldn't. that wouldn't really pass. You could definitely see something like that. Let's try moving this white one and hit Erase. And that actually doesn't look too bad. So yeah, there's things you can do, and I could try to remove myself, but that wouldn't look weird. that would look too weird. You'd want to remove people that are kind of in the background. So let's choose another photo now. All right, here's another one. Uh, this is a photo, obviously, that I didn't take, but maybe want to remove uh, that blue dragon back there. So we'll tap it, edit, hit the three dots at the bottom here, go to Object Eraser. It's going to analyze the photo. I'm going to tap this guy right here. See, it's tapping everything and hit the back button right here, so unselect it. Let me just hit tap right there. Now it's still doing it. Let me just tap right here just to make sure. Okay, so this isn't going to work right here. So what I'm going to have to do with this one is I'm going to have to draw. And we'll see how well the drawing works on here. There we go. Erase. Worked pretty good. Let me just tap. It's the, all right, we'll see if that erases that now. All right, not too bad actually. So you can see, unless you zoom in or really look closely at the photo, it might look a little, you know, kind of cloudy and weird right there, but ultimately it kind of passes, right? And when you're done, if you want to save it, all you do is hit done and then hit save at the top right, or you can hit revert. Uh, if you hit save, you can, you can see save over the original to keep the original and the edited uh, version separate, tap more options or save as copy so what that would mean right here if you go here and then you can go save as a copy and it'll save that original and then it'll also keep this new one that you added in all right so we'll do this photo next we'll remove uh, my son from this photo just to see how you can see how it would look if you remove an actual person from there and then we're going to do object eraser again analyzes the photo I'm going to tap on my son you can see it selected him completely I don't even need to draw anything and hit erase and we'll see how it looks not too bad actually when we zoom in it's obviously picking something up right here let me see if I can just erase that as well not too bad a little weird looking but ultimately you could kind of make it pass especially if you cropped in maybe a little bit but kind of cool and this is how you do it on the Samsung Galaxy side very similar to the way it works on the new Pixel phones with their object eraser. And let me know what you guys think. Do you like this better? You think this looks cool? You think it's easy? Do you use this? Let me know in the comments down below. And we'll see you guys down the road.